Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here, and I am going over part two of 1.06 empirical formula. So we are going to kind of work backwards here and say the empirical formula is sometimes the reduced version of the molecular formula. For example, CH3O has a molar mass of what? So hit pause and get that. And what you're finding is how much is carbon weigh? How much does hydrogen weigh? Times three, because there's three atoms, plus how much does oxygen weigh? And so when you do that, you get 12.01 for the carbon, and you get plus 1.01 .01 for one hydrogen, two hydrogens, three hydrogens, and oxygen should give you 31.04 grams per But if I said this compound has a molar mass of 62.08 grams per mole, what would its molecular formula be? So you can tell that it needs to be bigger or smaller. Well, it needs to be bigger. How many times bigger is it? It is twice as big. And I knew that because what I did was I took 31.04. Oops, do it the other way around. Let's do 62.08 divided by 31.04 equals 2, so it's twice as big. So if we doubled all of this, what would we get for an answer? C2H6O2. Note, you have to have whole numbers. Okay, so what do you think the empirical formula would be? It is not CR101.5. Nope, you have to have whole numbers because you can't have half an atom. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to, instead of having it like this, we're going to double it. Look at that. I did 1 times 2 is 2. 1 and a half times 2 is 3. So this would be my empirical formula. All right, let's look at another one. What would the empirical formula for this one be? So it's all worked out for you, and you just have to look at the ratios, and those are going to be our subscripts. So Na1Cr1O3 and a half. So what are you going to do? Double it and get Na2Cr2 and O7. All right, for the quiz for this one, um, there's eight problems, but don't freak out when you see that. Okay, there's a couple problems like these where you have to figure out the empirical formula. There's a couple problems to make sure that you know your definitions here from the beginning. Um, there's a couple problems like this. There are some problems um, where you tell me if something is, oh, here they are. Tell me if it's empirical and molecular and go back and forth. And I do tell you the formulas. Well, I could give you hints at what you need to do for the formulas, okay? So when I give you this, I'll remind you to change it to moles and then divide by the smallest one to get your subscript. So I'll give you a little bit of hints on the quiz. I also give you a couple days to work on this lesson because it's a tough one. Um, go over the worksheet, go over it more than once, and come see me when you need help. That's it.